good morning, Mama. Coach Amanda here um, with Healthy Driven Country Living. And this morning, I'm going to be sharing with you um, making BAM waffles from Trim Healthy Table Cookbook on page 342. So if you'd like to join me there, go ahead and go to your cookbook and gather your ingredients while I go ahead and get mine prepped. And we will meet right back here so we can get those those waffles made together. Okay, mamas, so we have got our ingredients set up here. Um, so we're just gonna go ahead and get started. This recipe is the waffle recipe, um, and it is a twist on the classic bust a myth banana cake. And you can find that recipe in the Trim Healthy Cookbook. That is also one of my favorites. Um, so it's just a twist on that. If you haven't made either one of those, I highly suggest it. And there's lots of variations of the Bust a Myth banana cake in the Trim Healthy table as well that you can make if you don't have Trim Healthy Cookbook. We really enjoy this waffle recipe, but it tends to kind of get lost because we do a lot of sourdough waffles. So anyways, so we're going to use it this morning. So I'm going to go ahead and get my waffle irons um, heated up over here. I've got a couple and I'm going to get my oats blended up. To blend my oats, I don't have a coffee grinder. I used to, but I lost it. Well, I lost the lid. The most important part, because it wouldn't turn on without the lid. Anyways, I got this blend jet, and it's perfect for grinding oats for your recipes. So we've got our oat flour there. Gentle sweet. We're going to use the gentle sweet in this recipe. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and put in all of our other little things. Other dry ingredients. Powder, soda, salt, all the good things to give it that bubbly rise. Fluffy. Pancake waffle texture. And let's kind of go ahead and give that just a little swirl. And then we can start to incorporate some of our wet ingredients. Our egg whites. Healthy Mama Banana Extract. I feel like it's the most pure. The banana that we I get at the grocery store, I'm not crazy about, so I choose to use the Trim Healthy Mama. But now the vanilla that I get at the store, it's fine. I go through it so often, I usually have to end up at the store because I need it in between orders. Let me just look here and make for sure that I got all of my ingredients mixed in. Yeah, easy peasy. So now we are going to go ahead and get these um, set up. Let me get my coconut oil spray. Should have started my um, irons just a little bit sooner. They aren't quite ready yet, but that's okay. Wait, my water. 
We'll give them just a moment and then we'll go ahead and get started pouring our batter in here. When doing any kind of pancakes or waffle, I usually like to use a ladle. It gives a nice good scoop to do the big ones. Oh, we're ready. so it is very, very large. And then we also have over here the kids. Uh-oh, I put a little bit too much in that one. Um, over here we also have the kids' Mickey Waffle Maker, and they absolutely love their Mickey Waffles. So yeah. I'm going to make them a Mickey Waffle. too large. That's okay. It is busting at the seams. I love that. Front row. It's gonna blow. It Daddy. might blow. It might blow on video. We got some snow last night y'all so it is a little cold here um it's probably the coldest it's been all season and i need a blanket on but it is beautiful and white and snowy outside today so Actually, will probably be our last last waffle. Um, so the recipe says that this makes eight waffles. Mine is going to make four Belgian and one Mickey Mouse. Okay, um, which is probably going to cause a little bit of a conviction. So, hey, who has uh, toddlers? We're going to save this batter and do the Mickey one. I don't want a connection. Oh, our Mickey one looks absolutely beautiful, y'all. How did you get in there? Lucky at that. There you go. Mickey Mouse waffle. We are going to do another one. So we have two. One for each baby. One for each Bowie. And if you all do have toddlers, you know exactly what I'm talking about. If you have toddlers,
toddlers or have had toddlers, no, you know mama, the struggle. I need, you need the so, mommy's stopping that fight before it gets here. There we go. Yeah. So we will cook that one. Let's that check our other waffles. Oh, and this one's beautiful too. So we did put less in there so it wouldn't overflow and it gave me four little minis that aren't really even connected. I mean, they kind of are, but they kind of aren't either. So, there we go. Okay, so this would essentially give us four Belgian waffles. Um, in the recipe, it says it makes eight waffles. You can enjoy two for a serving. Perhaps three yeah. if you were super hungry. So I if it were me right doing it Belgian style, I would enjoy one yeah. waffle. And then if you're one. super hungry, this fill up on some berries baby. or, you know, that something of that I nature. That okay, guys, I'm going to go ahead and get these finished yeah. made up, and I will meet you right back here when we're done. Yeah. Okay, guys, so here we have it. We've got three McMouse waffles and three Belgian style waffles from the BAM waffles in Trim Healthy Table. Um, if you all enjoyed this recipe, go ahead and hit the like button and let me know so I can do more recipes for you just like this one. And hit that subscribe button so you'll get notifications every time I make a video. Um, I really appreciate you all watching, and I really hope that you all come back, and I hope to see you again soon on my channel. And don't forget that doing Trim Healthy Mama with friends is so much better than doing Trim Healthy Mama alone. So stick around, and we can do it together. I hope you all have a great day, and I will see you next time.